Hi guys, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Never Age TV, guys. And today we are going to discuss a, a very uh, short topic. But please uh, let me welcome you first. For those that are new here, you are welcome to this channel. And uh, yeah, thank you for clicking. If you are new, thank you for clicking. And uh, please subscribe before you leave. Subscribe to this channel. Help us grow and uh, God will bless you. Now, <laughs> if you are returning, I am thanking you also. And uh, I would want to ask you to share, share, share now that you have always been here. Share, share, share and uh, help this channel grow also. Now, I'm discussing a, 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 a subject here. <laughs> that is very funny. <laughs> the day I got fired. <laughs> Have you ever been fired from your place of work, guys? <laughs> Have you ever been employed? I was I was employed one time. Not one time. By the way, I've been employed about three times in three different uh, companies. Uh, you know when you, 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 you are through with your studies, you get your first job and you are like all elated. I'm going to work, you know. You, in fact, the first year you never even get late. Woo -wee, guys, you are going to work. You know that idea, that feeling of a working class. You are hanging your hat back there and you are going to work. You feel very good. It is very, very good to, to go to work and uh, mm, you feel very blessed. And uh, the very first job is not the one that I'm talking about. In fact, the very first job I, I stopped myself to further my studies and I, I, I was okay. I was okay with that. But now... Uh, that job, you know, was first of all gotten for me by parents. So I never hustled to get it. I was untrained. I, I, I was, it was just a first job. But let me tell you guys, I got another a second job, which I was now fired. And when I got this second job, I was fired at a time that I surely needed the money. I had settled and um, was starting a family, had started a family. And guys, let me tell you, there's nothing as painful as being fired. You can even be hit by a, a car. <laughs> that is if you are small-hearted. It is the worst experience because you wake up one day, you go to work. By the way, do you know the devil strikes only when you are very needy? That is when the devil strikes. You will not imagine it, but the devil just comes when you are very needy. I was very needy that particular time because I just started life and I, I didn't have money. And um, I and here now I have a job, and I you know the way you when you start live and you are, you are, you have so many engagements here and there you need money for for so many things here and there, and guys I surely needed this job to to bring up my 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 family young family, and to also pay up a few things here and there, and to also look like somebody who is working you need to dress well you need to. To do a BCD, some commitments I had made here and there. But guys, one of the mornings, I will never forget. One of the mornings, I went to work. And uh, I was a secretary to the managing director of a certain company, which I'll not name here. Those that watch my videos, I'm sure if there's somebody who is watching my videos and used to know me, you'll know what company I was working for. And I'm telling you guys, I'm... I remember it was on a Christmas season when we were closing the the year, and uh, we had um, we had uh, uh, we were getting bonuses. You know, we were getting bonuses at the end of every year. And um, guys that used to work in the factory could come upstairs to the managing director's office, and they sit at the reception. And then uh, the managing director had prepared envelopes with, with bonuses. And the accountant and the managing director and the, the senior staff members would would lock themselves inside the managing director's office and uh, other there's a, there was a, a side boardroom a side boardroom there then uh, uh, workers would, would would stand in my small office uh, it was not small it was a big office and uh, they would wait for their names to be called in and somebody would walk in shake the hearts of the managing director be given a, an envelope with, with their bonus and they would be congratulated for having been a faithful worker the whole year and they would walk out and you go opening your 
envelope and they call you to there and you are your spouse knowing that you have no money for you for Christmas for your family and it was so sweet guys I had removed I had received that bonus envelope for about three years this was the fourth year and I am the one who, who, who could have now pick the envelope from the from the, uh, the, the managing director uh, uh, give it to the accountant the accountant calls the name then the, the person called would come and pick the envelope shake the hands of the accountant the other staff there and then the managing director and then walk out and uh, go their way and guys this particular time I the exercise went on very well people were remunerated very well and uh, all the names are called except mine and I said because I'm the secretary to the managing director I know he wants to give me my envelope uh, privately maybe after everyone else had gone downstairs and uh, guys I waited everybody went then the managing director called me and said okay so and so come so I walked the managing director's office with a smile and guys I was given my envelope yes my envelope was there and I shook his hands and I and the other staff and I proceeded to my office you know I was not leaving the office until the managing director leaves and I close up because I was the secretary and let me tell you I went to my seat and uh, opened my envelope and instead of finding money I found a letter I had been fired guys I had been fired and it was in the letter just as I was reading the letter with amazement and uh, I almost collapsed the managing director, I think, had given me time to just open the envelope and read the letter. He calls me from his office with the intercom and he says, come. And I walk there, very sad. I was crying and the managing director tells me, have you read the letter? I said, yes. I, uh, the, he, then he said, okay, uh, so please hand over the keys and uh, please uh, go to the accountant and uh, let him calculate your views for the uh, whatever. Um, and then you, you, you'll be paid and you, you go. From next uh, year, generally, we are going to get a new secretary. So guys, I can't imagine, I cannot begin telling you the trauma I got. It shook me to the core. I was a faithful worker. I had not missed the office. I was a hard worker. I never used to come to work late or anything. There is nothing I had done. But I was fired when others were being enumerated. Guys, it was the most painful experience of my life. And guys, have you ever been fired? What is your experience? Mine was bad. It almost took me to hospital with ulcers. Stomach ulcers. Can you imagine it's a January and you're starting the year, the following year, going to look for a job. There was no education. There was no education that I would be fired. But I was fired at a time that I needed money most with a very young family and I did not even know what to do. But anyway, guys, who is like our God? I did not even get the, 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 the job in January, but at least in the next two months, by March, I had gotten a job. But let me tell you guys, don't be cheated by anyone that staying out there tamaking for two months is a small thing, even three months, even one month, especially if you had a job, you had bills to pay. It can kill you, it can even, uh, I mean, weigh you down. It is the worst experience that you can ever think about. So I went through that, but by God's grace, I got a job. But I cannot stand here and tell you that I did not suffer. I suffered a lot. Has it ever happened to you guys? But did ever God, God ever leave you alone? No, he says you never leave us, nor forsake us. Please subscribe to this channel, share your experience, and guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.